are here to support Brunswick and that we are very cognizant of the fact that there are some great things going on and things that could go on, but the funds just aren't there. So our purpose is to raise funds in order to support Brunswick schools. Teachers have to fill out a form. They have to tell us how their grant would apply to the curriculum, because it has to be curriculum based. We've had grants that have benefited one classroom, but we're finding that as more and more teachers apply for grants, it's a long range grant. This is kind of the seed money to get it started that it affects 60 people and eventually, you know, 600 people. So I think that is really spectacular. Uh, my name is Gary Allen and I'm the Brunswick Middle School Band Director. I teach 6th and 7th grade band, um, but I'm going to have this awesome opportunity with the 8th grade band for um, this grant that I received. It's actually one of, the, one of the only things, scientifically, it's one of the only things that has both sides of the brain working simultaneously. You know, so for those students that struggle with this, but they're great in this, it's one of those things that builds, literally builds that other side of the brain. So it's, it's, these are things that not many people maybe know about music, but it's so important for our kids to have this, especially at this age. So we have a composer that's currently right now, he's in the process of writing the music for our students. And um, what it's gonna be is this music will have like three simultaneous part, like musical figures going on all at the same time at the beginning. And that'll go on for a while, kind of crazy chaotic music. And then at the very end, it's going to be, that's the A section. The B section will be just this like big, beautiful, glorious moment musically that's going to symbolize our Brunswick Middle School. So you've got the three, uh, three motives going on that, that are going to combine into one. It's just going to be very symbolic of our Brunswick Middle Schools. But when they're actually involved with the process, talking to the composer, giving him feedback on what, I want this note to sound like this instead of this. They're actually like involved live in that process. So they're in a way, they're composers themselves and they get to see that, pro that, that other side of the music before just getting it on their music stands to play. They get to have that active role in making the music too. I was a very shy, um, kind of withdrawn student in elementary school, even middle school a little bit. Um, but music has truly changed my life and that's why I'm so passionate about it. I've had some amazing music educators that have had a huge impact in my life. And honestly, my whole, the way I view my whole career is just I want to give that back to the thousands of students that I get to have the opportunity to see every single day. Hi, my name is Marianne Dean. I am a first grade teacher here at Hickory Ridge Elementary. Previously, I've tried to find some STEM projects that um, I can incorporate into our teaching throughout the classroom. And just, just like everything else, it's a time crunch. There's more and more standards. There's more and more stuff we're trying to fit into a day. And I felt like those were often getting pushed aside, but yet those were the kids' favorite part. And they also were tapping into such a different side of their brain that isn't always being pushed. You talk, you, I always hear about um, different businesses looking for people who think outside of the box, think differently, think creatively. And so it was like, okay, well, what if we actually made an area in the building that um, students could go to um, where they'd get a chance to try to do that with a maker space? So that was kind of my inspiration. <laughs> my mind got a little crazy where I was like, oh, we're gonna do like electrical currents. We're gonna create things like robots. And then I realized, wait a second, you're a first grade teacher, let's par it down a bit. Um, and I talked with some other people that had started in their buildings and they had done things like a button maker where kids are designing their own buttons and maybe that would stem like, oh, maybe they try to run for something like student council or maybe it was just a club they were creating. So we're starting a little bit smaller with like buttons and um, we do have some circuit breakers to, to test out. And there's so much, there's the science, there's the math, there's the problem solving, there's the teamwork, the cooperative learning, there's so much that's a part of it. That's what makes it so interesting and cool. Ideally, I wanted to start in my classroom, move to the first grade, then slowly open it up to the rest of the building. And I was thinking, okay, maybe in the next quarter I can start in the first group in my classroom, but I'm not sure at this point, moving forward, how big it'll get. But 
I think I think it'll be really cool like even if it's an option of like going to library and then spending makerspace or all those indoor recess times like going to indoor, there for recess I just, I'm excited to see how it can progress um, hi, my name is Linda Romp. I'm a fifth grade teacher at Huntington Elementary. I have been so lucky I have earned a grant every, we can apply every three years, and I have earned one every three years. The most recent is the cooling off in a calm corner, and I kind of started that because we now have to teach the social emotional. We have some um, types of calming hand tools, they have stress balls, all different types of um, stress relieving types of things. There's a Zen garden that has like a little rake and rocks that they can kind of put together and just to get them refocused on getting themselves back in control and then rejoining us in the classroom to continue their day. Really puts that back on them to become the problem solver and work through that problem and they can ask to go to get a hands-on tool or um, you know a stress toy and you know, some of the other kids who typically wouldn't use it are asking for those things too. So it has, and I think the kids are just stressed right now. Um, and anything where they can just, you know, get a moment to get themselves back together, um, we're not seeing the acting out that we possibly have in the past. And I just think they're overwhelmed with things right now. So giving them that opportunity to chill out and come back in a better frame of mind.